What's up everybody, my name is Sal, this is the GT Guys, and welcome to the Ford Performance Fast Lane, your YouTube headquarters for all Ford Performance news. Now today we have some really big news to talk about, and by big, I literally mean big, like 445 cubic inches or 7.3 liters worth of news. Yes, that's right. This week, Ford announced that they'll be producing a brand new engine, a 7.3 liter pushrod V8 that promises to be the most powerful engine in its class. And while we don't have definitive power numbers yet, we do have some estimates of what the power output of this engine is going to be. The 7.3 liter engine was announced earlier this week and it will first appear in the 2020 Ford Super Duty trucks. Now Ford claims that this new engine will have class leading power, so this gives us an idea of the minimum power output this engine will produce. The current class leader is the Ram 2500 truck with its 6.4 liter Hemi V8. That car pushes out 410 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque. Now Ford's current 6.2 liter engine is pretty close at 385 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. So with the 7.3 liters of displacement, we expect that this car will make significantly more power than the old outgoing 6.2 liter from Ford and even more power than the 6.4 liter Hemi V8. So as just a random estimate, maybe we're looking around the 450 horsepower and 500 plus pound-feet of torque range. This new engine from Ford is going to be so big that it'll actually be the second largest engine on the market today. If you want a bigger engine than this, you're going to have to step up to a Bugatti Chiron. That's crazy. So what does any of this have to do with the Mustang? Well, Ford Performance Communications Manager Mike Levine said that this 7.3 liter engine can fit under the hood of the Mustang and of the F-150. So this raises the possibility that we may get a 7.3 liter Mustang and the return of a V8 Raptor. There are a few problems with that theory though. Mr. Levine said that due to its iron block construction, the 7.3 liter engine would significantly change the weight balance of both the Mustang and the F-150 and it might not add any value to the platform. From a power and performance standpoint, the 7.3 liter engine probably won't make more power than the more sophisticated Coyote motor, but where the 7.3 will shine over the Coyote is in torque. It'll probably make much more torque than the smaller 5.0 liter V8. Also, the top dog motor, the 5.2 liter Predator V8, will probably top the 7.3 liter engine in every way on paper. So then, could the 7.3 liter add any value to the Mustang platform? Well, I'd argue that it could. A big displacement V8 engine with an iron block could make for a great throwback model. No, it's not gonna handle better than the GT350 or the GT500, but it would be perfect as a retro throwback model, something like the Boss 429. Again, it probably wouldn't be the best handling or the most powerful Mustang in the lineup, but for those who want the sound and the feel of a big engine, this really would tick all the right marks. And with a classic, iconic name like the Boss 429, this car would absolutely fly off the showroom floors. I think if Ford did this, they could potentially have a real winner on their hands and make something extremely special and unique. But now I'd love to know what you guys think. Does it make any sense to put this 7.3 liter engine in a Mustang, even though the 5.2 liter supercharged engine in the GT500 will make more power? Would you guys even be interested in the rebirth of a Boss 429? I know I would, but I'd like to hear your opinions in the comments below. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. The final countdown to the Ford GT delivery is on. We're just about two and a half weeks away now. So go ahead and hit subscribe. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.